Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're Sell Quick, Ship Quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And today we are coming at you with a thrift haul. Um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to us if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you get notified when we come out with more content. Uh, we did not source as much. Not as much, but there's a variety because some of this is RA. But we did the majority of our sourcing today because today was double dip at our local thrift store, which meant that there were two colors that were all dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Two colors. So we got plenty. So let's get to it. All right, so if you are new to our channel, the way that we do our thrift hauls, we have all our items categorized into price ranges. Yeah. So we are going to start with the 15 to $20 price range. Let's get to it. All right, 15 to 20. All right, so we found this Free People Movement, which is their active wear line. So it says FP movement. This is just a sleeveless tank and it's got this sheer back. Kind of see it. There you go. <laughs> then we got this nice floral made well. This is a made well silk top. Uh. Uh. <laughs> We got another Madewell. This is a Madewell small cardigan. And it's a long cardigan. I was wondering why it was long. Probably because it's a long cardigan. And we got a torrid new with tags. And just a nice V neck top. And it's got these little slits on the side. And it is new with tags. And then that's that section. We got this Athleta. Long sleeve, uh, what is it, just a sweater? Yeah, a pullover sweater, quarter zip. Um, and then it does have a little pocket here for um, no one's iPhone because this is way too small. Maybe <laughs> like a, a iPod. I was going to say iPad. Um, <laughs> I, do they still make iPods? Yeah, maybe. On eBay. <laughs> And now we're going into 20 to 30. First one up. This beautiful Zara woman. I think I had list put like Asian style faux wrap floral, floral cap sleeve above. top. What did you say? Thing of above. But this is an extra extra large, really pretty print. Really eye catching. Then we got. What is that? I didn't even say what it was. And this is an All Saints slim fit short sleeve button front for men. And then on here, this little white tag, it says that the fabric, fabric by Shuttle Notes Japan Made. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that makes it more special, but it's got this really nice, uh, um, like, split block material. Of fabric. Yeah, block color. I don't know, but here's a really nice J. Jill tunic. <laughs> you do these enough, you learn. And uh, well, it's a beautiful color. It is not the color of the year, but it was a couple years ago, right? Yes, it was. <laughs> um, this is an embroidered tunic, and it's got embroidery on the back too. Uh, this is a large. Then we got. A North Face fleece sweater, extra large. Ex extra, extra, extra large. large. But it's yeah. nice and it's just got all the pockets, because I like pockets. Then we got two Madewells. All right, so it's different colors. But these two, I picked them up. Uh, Yesterday? Yeah. Um, we were out with Orlando. But I just thought they were really nice for the holidays. And I remember someone 
putting up I think like the trends right now I think velvet was in there if I'm not mistaken but this is a really nice velvet material uh, so I picked up two of them they were on the clearance section at Marshall's and then we have this uh, extra large Athleta flannel or plaid uh, plaid pullover and it's got like slits on the side. It's just really nice. This is nice. Ooh, and we found this ASOS right here, new with tags, and this one is a size 16. So this one is pretty sheer, so it does need an undershirt, because you can kind of see my hands through it. Um, but I just thought it was just so pretty perfect for the holidays as long as you don't get food on it i can't wear white <laughs> another speaking of holiday colors uh -huh. uh uh do you hear those reindeers i had a dress like this when i was little and it was my favorite dress and it doesn't fit me anymore but it's just it's like this exact print but this is perfect for christmas for those holiday parties and it's got this really pretty ruffle this is j crew and it is j crew with tags Ooh. all right we got two fig and flower and this one is a 3x tunic and this one is a medium tunic. Um, I really like the fig and flower stuff. It, they do well for us. Um, I really like how like uh, colorful they are. It's got like just a bunch of prints on it. Very flowy always. Yeah, so these, I think we have one left in our store, but I think it's left because it's just a really like dark brown. But the prints that look super colorful like this usually fly off, fly out of our store as soon as we put them in. Yeah, going back to that velvet, velvet, not felt. <laughs> not felt. <laughs> <laughs> this J Jill has this like nice de lace detail on the sleeves, the yeah, collar, the collar, and it's not very clear, I think, but. Up close, you can see the embroidery going down both sides of the buttons. Uh, this is a J. Jill 2X in women's. And here's another J. Jill. I believe this is linen. And this is a 1X. This is a linen blend. Um, but this one is a roll tab. With the little button right there. Uh, just a really nice tunic pullover. And it's a little like flary at the bottom. Then we have here this real nice, uh, simple cloth and stone shirt, right? I, the, it is the, a shirt. That's all I got. This is a shirt. <laughs> uh, this is linen. Uh, this is a hundred percent linen. Um, and it's got this frayed hem at the bottom, but it's just really, it's a really nice shade of purple. Yeah. And here we got this really nice theory that Hugo picked out from this whole rack. Coincidence, it's like this plum purple almost matches mine. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is a size extra large. Yeah, when I was going through the men's section, nothing caught my eye, and then I just felt this and thought it felt pretty. So, thoughts and tingle it. All right, here we go. We have a Wilfred Free Aritzia. Uh, I want to say dolman sleeve. Maybe. Uh, oh, this was a, oh, there was a name for it, and I looked it up. Oh, Lorelei. I think this is the Wilfred Free Lorelei shirt dress. And the best part of this dress is it comes with pockets. All dresses should have pockets. It's true. In my opinion. It's true. Um, this is a medium. And we got this soft schwa. It's soft. It's a... Draw. Is it a dress or a tunic? It's a dress. And this is a 
There is a name for it that I can't think of, but I did already put it in our inventory checklist thing or inventory title, but it's it's like tight on the bottom and then when you wear it, it like scrunches up like that. So like you wear it and it scrunches, so it looks like a shirt over a skirt, but it's not because it's a dress. That was a good example. I was sold. We're gonna put that in our posh story. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up, we have this beautiful Oscar de la Renta maxi dress right here. And this is the Oscar de la Renta pink label, which I learned today is their like intimate line. Um, it's like a, like a nightgown kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's a very fancy schmancy nightgown. Um, Eileen. Oh, uh, good old Eileen. Good old lover. So this Eileen Fisher, uh, it does have like a little stainy thing right there that I'm going to clean. But this one is a 100% linen, I believe. Uh, I'm just kidding. It is mostly linen. <laughs> so this is a, it's got like a pleated front right here going all the way down. Um, and it's a linen blend, and this is an extra large. Then we have this real nice uh, Lulu's dress with uh, beautiful sheer sleeves w featuring a, would this be a cold shoulder? Or just a, oh, that's a big cold, a cold arm. A cold arm. Yeah, we're just going to call it a cold arm. <laughs> this is an extra small <laughs> shift dress with cold arms. Shift. I don't know. So this is a Hale Bob, Hale Bob medium, and this is a wrap dress, which you can kind of tell here, right there, and it's got the little wrap, which I only learned about Hale Bob maybe two months ago. Always learning. This is my first find of the day today when we went thrifting. Is that Diane Frankenstein? What is it, babe? Diane. Not Frankenstein? How do you say it? Feins... Feinsberg. Von Feins... I think you know better. Diane Von Furstenberg. And this is 100% silk. Uh, it's got like the little arm slits. And this really nice ruffle in the front. Very pretty. I got this one here. This is really nice torrid. Uh, what did you end up finding that's called? Oh, uh, it was just like a sheer polka dot dress. I don't know if you guys can see the polka dots. Right there. Yeah, and it's got this really nice sweetheart neckline. And it's got um, tulle underneath the dress, so... Which I can't really show. But it's like fluffy, kind of, at the bottom. Uh, and this one is a size 14. Perfect for those holiday parties. That's true. Uh, this one is Lulu's. It's just a really nice classic looking blazer and it does have mini shoulder pads in here. Um, and I tried it on and I kind of like it, but it is an open front blazer. It's just a very simple classic look. Uh, let us know in the comments if you think she should keep it. Which I kept the sweater from last week's haul. <laughs> This is the this is the Madewell. It found its home. All right, so we have these REI women's hiking pants in a size 14, and I really like selling REI hiking pants because they usually go very quickly. And these are convertible hiking pants. So with the help of my assistant, at the bottom you can see these loops on the side. And underneath, we have the little straps, and you can roll them up just a little, or you can go all the way and show off your knees. Woo! Mm. Knees are pretty. <laughs> okay, um, these are AG, Adriano Goldschmied, the jegging, super skinny fit. There you go, right in there. All right. And these are a size 26R in this nice dark denim. 
And here we have a dark, not your daughter jeans. And these are a size 12. There you go with the label. Is um, it black or is it dark blue? It's just black. No, these are black jeans. Normally the not your daughter jeans will have like the style inside. This one doesn't. So these are their straight, slim, skinny, straight jeans. And um, again, our good old friend here. Oh, Eileen. Scoop neck, elbow sleeve, jersey, high low, maybe? Dress? Yeah, that's a, definitely high. has a high and a low on it. Another holiday. Color, uh huh, nice little. J. Jill, and this one is a 1X. J. Jill. Um, I picked this up. I really liked the pleated bottom. I just thought this it added I really like the color and this pleating just gives it that extra What color is this? Would you say this is burgundy or maroon? Maroon. So I looked it up. So I get confused too with maroon and burgundy, so I pulled up like the color thing on Google. Because Google's your best friend when you don't know what you're doing. Um, so I pulled up Google and then the charts that I saw, burgundy was a lot darker. Okay. And then maroon was more purplish. Alright. I, I never, I didn't know the difference. Now we're going to go to the 30, 40 do, 30 to $40 range. And here's another Madewell that we picked up. And it's the velvet, but this one is the long sleeve you know sweater version it looks very much the same style as the other one just long sleeve all right and we have a bunch of texture and thread by madewell and this one is a 3x so i don't know if you can see that <laughs> but it's texture and thread and there you go Texture and thread, made well, 3X. Uh, and this is, it's got this like wrap front. Awesome. It has buttons too, so. Oh, it has a little button there to hide hide your things. Um, and it's got a little. Uh, scrunchy? Scrunchy. Elastic. Arm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have the same one in black. But this Different one is a size, medium. Right? Yeah. Yes, so we have a 3X and a medium. And then, oh, this oh. one's a big guy. Okay, so this is Johnny Was. Johnny Was small. And this is a silk halter top. And the Johnny Was embroidery. So the embroidery is down here. It's very simple. Um, when I picked this yeah, up, very subtle. I was going through the rack and I think I had just seen the embroidery from the bottom of the shirt and uh, that's what caught my attention on this and that was Johnny. There's Johnny. <laughs> All right. Really nice. Soft surrounding. Knit. Tunic dress. Yep. Um, this one was a, I think it was an asymmetrical something. Asymmetrical tunic. I did find the exact one. So this one is an asymmetrical tunic. Um, the color down there yeah. is really nice. And then on the back, the shape is a little like different. You can see that on the bottom. Nice. So it makes it asymmetrical. All right. So we have, oh, here's a Madewell texture and thread in a medium uh striped these are like really like baggy sleeves <laughs> and it's got this nice metallic stripe yeah going i don't know if the it. video shows it but the those are very shiny here's another texture and thread this one is a uh 3xl 3XL texture and thread. It's got this cute tie front. Uh, when I looked this up, I think they called it a crop top. I don't know what the measurement is, but I guess it does kind of look crappy. It looks crappy. <laughs> oh, we do have two of those, so this is just the same. 
So that is our multi-quantity listing. Nice and easy. Uh, and here we have a J. Jill. This is like a wine color. Um, this is a large knit, chunky, chunky knit sweater. Uh, this is a wool and alpaca blend. So if this were my size, I would totally keep this because I think this is really pretty. And it's got this like cable knit in the back going down the middle. And I think along the, the arms front. too. Yeah, and it's got the same like cable knit design going down the arms as well. Here is another Madewell. And this one is a 2X. And this really pretty eyelet uh, design and it's got a button back and these fun arm skirt sleeves. Arm skirts? I'm sticking to Or that. you know, bell sleeves. Bell sleeves, arm skirts. I like arm skirts. But how pretty is that? And it's got like a little flary bottom. Yeah. I, like, I really like the color on that. Alright, we have a Calypso St. Bart in a small and this one is a hundred percent silk. It's just a pretty shift dress in this, I guess, lilac or light purple. Yeah, almost lavender. Okay, here we have Diletta from Anthropology. This is a medium sleeveless bodycon dress and it's got this ruching on the side, on both sides. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, and we have here this Trina Turk sample dress. Okay, so Trina Turk, if you pick it up uh, or don't pick it up, drop down below if Trina Turk sells well for you. Because when we first started reselling, we were picking it up because we thought it was really good. Um, and we see it a lot here yeah, in more LA and more, both in discount stores and in the thrift stores but I know they have their sample sales here too and today when we went to the store I probably passed on 20 Trina Turk items I picked this one up because I thought it was a really nice pretty maxi dress um, and it has a slit on the side uh, so this is a sample dress from Trina Turk and so there's no sizing on it. Um, I did try it on and I, it fit me well, so I think it's a medium. But we'll see, measurements. Then we have oh, this, very pretty. What is it? It's a Millie dress. Ah. So here you go, this is Millie of New York, a size four, a cute little shift dress and it's got a long zipper on the back and we just sold a Millie dress a few weeks ago so I think this was a sign to replace the one that is now gone. Yeah. <laughs> one in one out. And we have these men's theory pants. Now I tell you all the time I was already paying actually in this case I finished paying and from a distance a pair of pair of pants that she gets. Well. I think, so these are just slim pants, like a slim fit theory, and these are size 32. The material feels different, right? Uh, so these pants are poly... They, well, they, they feel poly a lot... Polyamide, 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 and elastane, made in the U.S. of A. Yeah, it feels like a hiking pants almost. Yeah, they almost feel like nylon, but they're not. Oh, here. All right, so this was new to us. I don't know if you've heard of this brand, but be on the lookout for this one. So this one is Raining Champ, and it is not made, but handcrafted in Canada. And these are a medium. And did we say what price? Oh yeah, so we're in the 30 to 40, but this was the upper 30s, like closer to 40 dollar range. Yeah. Um, they're sweatpants. They're sweatpants. They're but sweatpants. They're heavy, they're thick. They are thick. With pockets. 
Uh, and they're not joggers or no, jogger-ish they... or like slim sweatpants because they do taper. Uh, but these caught my attention because they look like fancy sweatpants. And I looked them up and I saw them. I think knew they were 90 or I saw some used ones going for 50 to 60. But I found these exact ones in this price range. Nice. And then we have here a pair of current Elliot distressed uh, light wash jeans. All right, so for current Elliot jeans, here's the tag for current Elliot. On the inside of the current Elliot jeans, you will find the style. Um, so it's got this little fabric thing. So this one in particular, this is the boyfriend panhandle with repair or you know the boyfriend distress i can see the panhandle though that's what's on the knee but yeah so right here if it's you, the panhandle yeah <laughs> there you go now we're going on to the 40 to 50. We'll start here with uh, a little J. Crew. Okay, so I really, one of my favorite finds was this really pretty J. Crew sweater. Um, it looks simple in the front, but on the back, you have this really nice eyelet detail. And if it were my size, I would totally keep this because I thought this was just so pretty for this the back of the sweater. And this is uh, sold out on their website because mm. I did look it up. <laughs> and this is new with tags in an extra small. Nice. So it's kind of like uh, the mullet, like it's business in the front and party in the back. Mm. Go J. Crew. All right. So these are naked and famous denim. Uh, guilty here, real quick. I always say naked and afraid when I refer to these pants. I don't mean to, but they're they're just they're not afraid. They're just famous. They're famous. Uh, these are a button fly. Uh, I think these are men's. We've only sold men's naked. Yeah, these are men's because these yeah. are the weird guy. These are the weird guy in a size 28. And I think, oh yeah, they're salvage denim. And we've sold them in the past. So whenever we pick this up, whenever we see this, we pick it up. And we have another beautiful Eileen Fisher. Would this be a tunic dress? Yeah. Uh, and it's button front, it's silk, it's got a slit on the side, and this is an extra large. Nice. And here we have a rag and bone, rag and bone medium sheer fishnet long sleeve. Uh, button front. I did find this sold on Trade Z, but I will probably just put it on our other platforms. Maybe Trade Z, but it's there. Yeah. Then we have a uh, Rebecca Taylor silk. Yes, a hundred percent silk, and this is a size two. Here's the Rebecca Taylor tag, and Rebecca Taylor comes with these little metal things. Size tags? Yeah, metal size tags. Uh, it's got like a little arm slit here, elastic waist, Ooh. Pockets, pockets in this dress. Yeah, it means a lot, a nice silk dress with pockets. Yeah, and it's got this like faux wrap front. Really nice. It does, this one does need a little steaming to get those wrinkles out before the photos. Uh, I don't know. This is a different tag, but this is Free People. Uh, free People, this is a medium. Uh, it's got detail coming down both arms, this lace detail. Um, Sheer. Yeah, and it's got the keyhole on the back. Really pretty pretty dress. It had a few snags that I was just kind of going through and taking care of, but otherwise like nothing's wrong with it. Yeah, it's really nice. Very boho. Oh, Eileen. This is an Eileen Fisher Women. This is a 1X. 
Uh, this has these like snap buttons in the front. Um, yeah, it's just a very classic looking piece. I don't know what this is called when it's like wrinkly looking because this guy <laughs> was like, I asked him what he thought of this piece and he goes, well, I think it's wrinkled. Uh, would you say it's ribbed? But I don't, I'm not sure what this style of wrinkleness on purpose is called. So if you do know, we would appreciate if you could drop that below in the comments. Either that or we're gonna put on the title, uh, I don't know. Needs heavy irony? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this coat needs a little love and care. It's got some, it needs to get um, defuzzed. defuzzed. But this is a Tabitha from Anthropology coat. And this one is a lamb's wool Angora blend. Um, but this pea coat is different from regular ones because it has like this sleeve thing that comes out of the like outer sleeve. Oh. Like a tight knit sleeve that comes out of here. And I really like this bow detail in the front Are for the pockets. pockets. Yeah, and they're like real pockets. A lot of these coats have those fake pockets and they're sewn it. in. We've talked about it in our hauls. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I really like this coat. It's really pretty. It's thick. It's warm. All right, now heading on to we have two items for fifty to sixty. All right, so this beautiful Kate Spade dress, Kate Spade New York. Um, I don't see the size tag. I think that got cut off. So this will just be in the measurements, but. This dress, I really like the ruffle detail right here and it comes with these pretty gold buttons. And they're not just detail because they actually um, button up. And it's got the gold buttons right there. And even though this dress is fancy, it's also got pockets. My favorite thing. I think that should just be a new standard. I haven't heard any woman say, I don't like that my dress has pockets. It's true, it's true. All right, so this pretty dress, this was also, I think my last minute find. Um, but this one is Fame and Partners. I think this is a Revolve brand, or it would not, maybe not, yeah. It, it's sold there too. Um, but this is a halter dress. It's got this really pretty lace detail at the waist. Can you hold that, kind mm -hmm. sir? Sweetly. And then at the bottom, it's got this lace detail as well, and it flares out like a mermaid. Down here. That's a really pretty dress. I can't model it, so if you're asking on posh, it, it won't fit me. All right, we're getting to the end. We are in the 60 to $70 range. Okay, so earlier this week, our friend Laura Von V did her thrift haul from the Goodwill bins, and she talked about this brand that I had never heard of. She was saying that at the LA bins, which are local to us, she always finds CP shades. And I thought, man, I gotta go to the bins for that because I've never found that brand before. Her thrift haul inspired us to go thrifting, and so, one of the first things I found, which you can't really see because of the way that it's sewn in, this is CP Shades. And she told me this is their newer tag, but it's a button front dress. And this one is a size medium and it's 100% linen. So thank you Laura Von V for uh, educating us and giving us your thrift luck. The more you know. <laughs> and this over is my here. good one. Yes. Oh, so another bolo for you guys. Um, so this one is Clothing Arts. Which I had never heard of this brand before. But it this one. It doesn't even look impressed. The tag does not look impressed. Yeah, so here's the clothing tag. And then this is the little cube on the pocket. Well, these pants, um, I normally go through the pant section and if we're in a bind, I will just kind of 
visually skim for cargo looking pants or the nylon material because that's like the hiking material um so this has cargo pockets so i grabbed it and when i grabbed it the side right here if you could feel through the camera it is really thick so i pulled it out i thought this was weird for pants um and in here in the pocket it's got a velcro pocket like a hidden velcro pocket and then inside there's like another hidden zipper pocket so you have a pocket within a pocket with another pocket yeah and uh so anyway bit. so these are in the 60 to 70 dollar range because these are special pickpocket travel pants which is why they have all those hidden pockets all the layers of pockets because i mean there's pickpocketers that could get to your back pocket even your front pocket but if your front pocket has a zipper velcro and a second zipper and you still get pickpocketed you probably had too much to drink <laughs> <laughs> these are also the roll-up convertible ones so it does have the little strap inside the strap inside <laughs> to roll them up so you can show off your calves and going now 70 and up okay so our 70 and up is like 70 and way up yeah um, if you know about this brand, also leave us comments because I couldn't find this exact dress and the comps were all over the place. So this is a Ricky Freeman, Ricky Freeman, Terry John, size eight. Um, this is a shirt dress. It's got like puffy sleeves. It's got this really ornate neck collar thing. Yeah. Um, buttons in the front, it's got a, a belt, belt. Um, and this one is made, uh, oh, it's 100% silk. I think the inner part is 100% silk. Right? No, this whole thing is 100% silk. Wow. Yeah, so the whole thing, this whole beautiful dress is 100% silk. Um, I looked up comps and on eBay, there's like their super formal dresses were in the hundreds on Poshmark. It was all over the place. <laughs> um, prices range. I saw a dress sold for like 20 and then it went up to 100. I saw one for like 200. And then we went on to Trade Z. Trade Z was like 80 to 200 as well. Um, Google so, didn't help much either. Yeah, Google. I tried to look up this exact design with the full button front and I couldn't find it. Uh, so we're gonna list this a little bit higher and uh put in best offer uh yeah this is her amazing find this thing i mean if you guys can take a look first off as you can see it has tags right i mean if you might even be able to see the name of it this is a kohan is it lambskin uh lamb leather lamb leather it's really, really, really soft. Yeah. So I wasn't sure. Um, we don't sell leather frequently. Um, we're not too familiar with it. The only Kohan stuff we've sold are shoes. Um, and this one's new with tags. This is a large. I looked it up and uh, the comps were 150 to 250 yeah depending on the style um i like this up using the little style number here and i searched it and this is currently on nordstrom rack for 200 i believe and the retail price on this is 500. yeah so i found this today and then we had ramen for dinner yeah that's a great way to celebrate uh, Hugo's hard goods. Yeah, not that many this time. We really just, I only got one item this week, really. I picked up a few electronics, took them back because it didn't work. But this is a vintage decanter. Let's see if it pops up in there. Okay, well, it moves. 
There you go. There you go. But it's so some of these old vintage decanters would make very ornate looking ones. Uh, this same company, uh, Ezra Brooks. Yeah, Ezra Bur Brooks has lions, eagles, tigers like, and bears. Probably. Uh, but in this case, we got a train, and this one, I think when I saw it, it was like 1930s to 1940s. So oh, really nice. This one held 90 proof whiskey? Yeah, this is a light of, like, breath on fire. But, uh, real nice. It's not big profits. We picked it up for about four bucks, and it should sell for, uh, about 25 to 30 bucks. I saw some going for, like, 40, but I guess it just depends on... The style of the Yeah, because there's cancer. one that looks just like this, but it's in a baby blue tint. That was nice. Okay, so I found these shoes today. These like platform, I stick the shoe away from my face. Um, <laughs> but these platform sandals, the bottom, I don't know if this was ever worn. So the bottom is like super clean. Um, I've never heard of this brand before. This is Pedro Garcia. Oh, Pedro. From España. Um, so it does have this Velcro strap uh, for uh, the hook ankle. And loop. Don't get in trouble on Don't eBay. Don't get in trouble. Hook and Do, loop. Yes, <laughs> hook and loop. I learned kind of the hard way. I got a warning. Um, but these are a size 33 and a half. Yeah, 33 and a half. These sandals. Well, I looked this up. And the comps for Pedro Garcia ranged from 30 to 100. So that's, that's a little bit of a range. A little bit of a range. Most of the ones that I did find were the black platforms. These are the whites. I did see a white similar one that was only sold for, I think, $30, but like months and months and months ago. And the more recent comps were in the 50 and up. So I will price according to the more recent comps for this shoe. And uh, I think that's it. We did pick up a few items for Amazon FBA, which we are not gonna show on here. Um, but we did pick up a handful of stuff for that, which we will be shipping out soon. Um, yeah. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, any of these that you might have sold, let us know how it went. Let us know if you still pick it up or maybe you found that a certain brand that we showed is starting to, you know, go down in rank or not rank, but it would be price. Yeah. Uh, so we always appreciate. We learn all the time. It helps us. So thank you for joining us. Yeah. And we'll catch you guys next, next time. time.